this is a test but it's not a test of this I'm just using this as some footage to shoot because I need to test my new phone and uh, editing software so this video is going to be a bit shaky and I need a couple of edits in it to see whether the editing software is going to work so meanwhile let me just explain what's going on with this this was given to me by a long-term customer of my tech support business. He's moving away and moving down into a smaller, um, a smaller house and he just needs to get rid of some of his stuff. Most of it's going off to charity, but I've had my eye on this uh, for a long time. And uh, he said, I can take it if I want, which was very kind of him. So it's actually a, a black and white, I think it's five inch TV and a cassette player. I've not tidied it up or anything. Uh, but it will be the subject of uh, a future video. It's really, really quite dirty and dusty because it's been sitting on his desk for a long while. Um, but it's got a radio in it as well. And uh, I've ordered a manual and a service manual for it so I can know how to work, know how to work it. And uh, the, uh, the actual TV does work in that it shows a picture. But it's analog and we no longer have any analog signals uh, in the UK so I'll have to figure out something where I can get an RF signal into it so anyway we'll come back to this later on so let me put an edit in here an edit in here and I'll explain what I'm doing with these crazy um, camera um, test I bought a touch not a touch pro I bought a Google Pixel 7 Pro um, for the camera but when I run well, I use some line. open source editing software and I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head, but it can't handle the files that the pixel is producing. I think it's because they're uh, TS files. <laughs> so I will have some edits. Uh, the family arrived home and was shouting up at me. Um, but I'm going to keep those, uh, I might keep those in the video because I just want to get the video up and edited. So yes, the new camera doesn't uh, produces a video that uh, my uh, free open source video editor uh, can't edit and I've just realized this camera is actually shooting in portrait instead of landscape so let me do another cut there we go right so anyway the plan is I've put Windows 11 onto my main work computer because I need to be doing some testing for that and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the free, I've got an Office 365 subscription, uh, which pays for more features on uh, ClipChamp, I think it's called, which is um, some software that Microsoft have bought and they're bundling it in as their Microsoft 365 subscriptions video editor. So I'm going to give that a whirl. So things will look different and it might not work. If you see this, and uh, you would have already seen, if you see this video and it's already had one of my normal subtitles down the bottom, then what has happened is I couldn't edit it um, on the new system and I've had to download it from Google Drive, which is compressed to save space, and that works on my open source video editing system. But otherwise, um, if you haven't seen anything about the old system in the subtitles I put at the bottom of the screen then this will have been edited in uh, Windows 11 ClipChamp um, on a full resolution video which will be quite cool and hopefully I can still put little notes at the bottom of the screen in that new system so that was a bit unplanned and unscripted so thanks for watching I will do a video on this cleaning it up I've got to test I've got to clean the cassette deck on this uh, but I might just test it first to see if it's working uh, and the one thing I'm worried about is this is a cathode ray tube, a CRT, and it has been turned on. Uh, and uh, I don't know how long the voltage will be in there for, and I don't want to blow myself up if I take the cover off. So I've yet to figure out what the um, route, you know, what the process will be to fix this. First thing I will have to do is uh, replace that. He's put an extension cord on this just by connecting the wires up to a longer piece of cable and putting some electrician's tape on which is falling apart. So that's one thing I'll do quite soon. So thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.